Hi guys! Sorry it's been a while. I've been really busy. I uh, did some traveling, went to Florida, went up north, celebrated my parents' 75th wedding anniversary. 75 years! That's crazy! And then, what's more crazy is then less than a week later, my mom passed away. Um, she was 93. She lived a wonderful life. She died sitting in a chair watching Turner Classic Movies. Just wasn't never sick, never went to the hospital. They lived at home. I, you, can't, you can't ask for anything better than that. <laughs> that said, it still hurts like hell. Like, I can't believe it. I thought my parents were so old. I've been, you know, like, you got to be prepared. When your parents are in their 90s, you are prepared to get the call, right? But for some reason, man, I can't hardly even think about it, and I'm just a wreck. And they want me to give the eulogy. So i am written the eulogy, but I, I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can give the eulogy. You know what I mean? So anyway, I've been doing Lean and Clean from Hannah's uh, new book, Lean and Clean. Um, but... Um, I just felt the need to get in the kitchen and make some comfort food. So I'm not actually going to eat this, but my son's coming over tonight. He's vegan. My husband's not, but he'll eat anything I make. We're heading up for the memorial services uh, tomorrow morning. So today I'm making not chicken noodle soup, but I'm going to I'm going to show you this is going to turn out really really good. So I'm going to show you what I got here. First off, what I'm going to replace the chicken with are oyster mushrooms. So these are the best, the best meat replacer ever. Oyster mushrooms. Like if you want to make pulled pork sandwiches or if you want to, you know, any kind of mock meat or anything, I think oyster mushrooms are the best. So I've got, um, I'm not sure how many ounces this is. It was one big head of oyster mushrooms. And I'm actually going to put these in the oven and bake them. I'm going to wrap them in tin foil. I'm going to put them in the oven um, at 350 for about 25 minutes. And then I'm going to shred it up like chicken. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so then what else I'm going to do is put in what you would normally put in chicken soup. I got some carrots here. Um, they were already these like dipping carrots. I'm going to cut these up smaller. I've got a couple um, stalks of celery, a couple cloves of garlic. I've got an onion here. It's a, it was a pretty big onion. I'm going to put in all that. I've got some fresh thyme from the garden. You could use dried thyme or whatever seasonings you like. Uh, I'm going to be using this um, Better Than Bouillon, not chicken base. I'm probably going to put in about six cups. You know, make enough bouillon for six cups of this, I think. I'm going to use these noodles. They're vegan. Uh, I don't know. They're made with wheat. It's just wheat, niacin, folic acid, whatever. I'm not making my own noodles, but I'm going to use these. I'm going to use these noodles. And then um, to finish it off, I'm going to add in some coconut cream. So I've got a cup, coconut, not coconut, duh, cashew cream. So I've got a cup of coconut with two cups of water here. I'm going to blend this up and this will make it nice, thick and creamy. So, all right. That's what's going in the pot, and let's get started. All right, we got all these veggies in the pot. I never use any oil, I don't even use water. So, because those vegetables are going to start to sweat down and they'll create their own water. So, as long as you don't put it over real high heat. So, I got it over like medium high. So, I'm going to let those start to cook down. Okay, these mushrooms are out of the oven. It was like 25 minutes at 350. Let's see what we got. All right, so there they are. Okay, so I'm just going to plop them on the cutting board here. And I'm going to like 
Just gonna use a couple forks. And kind of shred this. I don't know if you can see, but this looks like some dark meat chicken right here. Dark meat chicken, but it's not chicken. It's not chicken. But it's got the same consistency and it looks. Tell me that don't look like pulled pork or chicken. Tell me, tell me it don't. Look at that, that's chicken. That's pork. What is it, chicken or pork? It's neither. It's a damn mushroom, man. I wish they were more readily available. I mean, I can get them. I mean, I can't get them every time. You know, it's not, it's like if I'm counting on it, like, okay, I need oyster mushrooms for a recipe. For damn sure, I'm gonna go to the store and they're not gonna have any. You know what I mean? So I more or less just, when they're there, I buy them. But I wish like your mainstream supermarkets, I mean, all you can get is portobellas, creminis, and white button mushrooms. And most, most stores get shiitakes too. But these oyster mushrooms, these are the best. Well, I can't say they're the best because in my opinion, the morel mushroom, the morel mushroom is the, uh, is the best. The morel, but you can't, I've never seen those other than dried. I guess I've seen them dried, but I hunt them in May. We hunt them, hunt them. That sounds weird, isn't it? Hunting mushrooms, but I guess that's what we call it. Hunting mushrooms. All right, so I've pretty much butchered that pretty good, right? Look, I might chop, I might throw a knife through that a little bit. Just cut up some of these bit bigger pieces, but you want to leave some, you know, big like chicken, but man, look at that, dude, look at that. Holy moly. Mm, and they taste so good. Yum, oh. Okay, so let's go over here to this pot. Okay, so these have cooked down a bit and see that brown stuff down there? That's good stuff. That's good stuff. So there's just the vegetables. I'm gonna dump the mushrooms in here next. Okay, so I got the mushrooms in there and I got, oh, about two tablespoons, maybe a little more of the not bouillon. So I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna start with six cups of water and then I'm gonna cook the noodles in there with that. Okay, so we got six cups, six cups of water and I'm putting in six ounces six ounces of pasta. So now I'm going to, uh, sometimes I would just dump this whole time in there, maybe put a string on it and then pull it out, but I'm actually going to uh, get the little leaves off and put them in there. I only ended up using about, I didn't use it all that time. I used about half of that big bunch. So I'm thinking it needs a bit more broth. The noodles aren't quite cooked yet, um, but I am making a soup and soup should have broth. So I'm adding one more cup of, of the, um, yeah, not chicken broth. It's not chicken broth, it's really not. Okay, so the soup's basically done. I'm just gonna add the cream. So basically we've got a creamy, creamy chicken soup here. A little bit bubbly. Don't know why it's bubbly. Probably because I blended the crap out of those cashews in the Vitamix. I wish I got to eat some, but I'm not. When I say I'm doing something like lean and clean for 14 days, I'm doing it by the book. So I'm doing lean and clean for 14 days. And then maybe I'll make some soup <laughs> and eat it. Okay, well I had to I had to at least taste the broth and it's it was delicious. But you know what? I'm making this for my son and my husband and I'm making comfort food to date, so I am stirring in a couple tablespoons of Earth Balance just to make these like hot, 
buttery noodles. Like, so I'm making this like, this is what I want to eat right now. I want to eat this with a, <clears throat> with a loaf of French bread slathered in earth balance. So <laughs> I'm going to get to watch my husband and son eat this. So I'm just stirring it, yeah, stirring in, stirring it, basically stirring butter into my soup. Uh, and this is what I'm having right now is my oatmeal. I think I'm on day five, day four. Whichever day is oatmeal, mango oatmeal. So I got a cup of oats and I got a cup of mango and I'm gonna be having mango oatmeal.